you want to make more money, do better in fitness, get some gains, whatever it may be, explore new options. I'm going to give you five different tips slash methods that will make you more productive, make you get more things done, and just overall become a more productive person. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to my channel. Name is Fidel. You already know it. Hopefully, you guys are all having a great day. And like I said in today's video, it's time to get productive. So let's go ahead and get into the five tips, tricks, methods, whatever you want to call it, to become a more productive person. Now, this was so important to me that I even wrote it on the notepad. Who writes on the notepad anymore? Anyways, eh? So step number one, scheduling. Scheduling is so important, guys. You have no idea. The reason why scheduling and creating a schedule throughout your day is so important is because it gives you a list in your mind that you need to get things done at a certain time in order to get more things done. So for example, if you're not a scheduling kind of person, you'll kind of get things done on your own time, at your own speed, et cetera, et cetera. But if you have a schedule and you go by it and you actually take it seriously, you could be like, you know, gym from nine to 10 in the morning, work from 10 to two, and then from two to three, we're gonna study some new form of income or new form of gains or new form of content. Just doing that will make you so much more productive and get you to be able to do a lot more things throughout the day. Because a lot of people are like, oh, I wish there was more time throughout the day. There's plenty of time. You've just got to use it wisely and you've got to use it appropriately. So that is step number one. Schedule, guys. Create a schedule. If you're new to it, watch a video on how to schedule it. It's pretty easy. Um, just make a schedule that you know you can follow. And even if you know you can't follow it, guys, kind of push yourself a little bit really get uncomfortable because uncomfortability equals growth. So create a difficult schedule if you need to, to really get the most things done. Tip number two, do what you need to do. And I can't emphasize that need enough. A lot of people don't do what they need to do. They do what they want to do. So for example, if you have to study for a test, you'll be like, hmm, today would be a good day to wash my car. Today's a great day to go do anything but study for that test. You've guys got to really dig deep and do what you need to do. Because whenever you only do what you want to do, like I just said, washing your car, cleaning your car, but just doing these little things that you don't do on the normal just to escape what you must do needs to be kicked out. You have to stop doing that. It's a bad habit that a lot of people have. And the only way by you know ensuring that you don't do it is really telling yourself, hey, we have things to do, let's get it done. Because eventually you're gonna have to do it, right? So if you decide to clean your car, clean your room, whatever the case may be, doing all these other things that isn't on your schedule and it isn't what you need to do, then you end up, one, wasting more time and doing it later when you could have just got it done right then and there. So step number two, only focus on what you need to do, not what you want to do. Tip number three, really focus what you're spending your time on. If you're always with your friends just having fun, that's great, guys. But if you really want to level up, you have to focus on what you're doing. So instead of always hanging out with your friends, be like, man, maybe I need to study a new form of income today. Maybe I need to study how to get more gains in the gym, what I need to eat, what I need to work out. So doing that, guys, it will really, really um, help you in the long run, paying attention to what you're spending your time on and who you're spending your time with. I'm not saying don't ever have fun. No, go have fun, go hang out with your bros, whatever you wanna do, go and do it. But you need to start paying attention and really allowing yourself to go in these specific places. So if your buddy's like on a Wednesday, hey bro, let's go out. No, today I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna focus on this task because it's on my schedule and I need to get it done. Always be aware of what you're spending your time on because that's another really big problem is people just go and like like I said, they'll just go and do whatever they feel like doing and not what they need to do. So again, pay attention to what you're spending your time on and make sure you're spending your time on valuable things like a new form of income, how to do better in the gym, how to be a better boyfriend, how to be a better girlfriend, etc. Tip number four, and this one is pretty obvious, but it is extremely, extremely um, needed whenever you're trying to become more productive person, become more disciplined. And I know that's like, you're like, oh bro, that's obvious, yes. But becoming more disciplined, guys, allows you to really do all these steps easily. It's, it would become secondhand nature. But the only way to become disciplined is by really becoming strict with yourself and telling yourself, this is what I need to do in order to become a better person, in order to become more productive, um, whatever you wanna call it. 
you have to become more disciplined. For example, like if you want to do some studying, do some learning at eight o'clock, but your buddy calls you, says, hey, let's go out at eight, you should be disciplined enough to be like, hey man, I have to do this studying because it's for you and you want to become better. So really learn how to become extremely disciplined with yourself. And it definitely takes time. I would say getting becoming disciplined is one of the hardest things to do if you're not already disciplined because it's so like, it's not secondhand to you, but eventually it will become secondhand. And number five, um, learn to stand up for yourself, guys. And what I mean by that, it kind of goes with the pay attention to what you're spending your time on. I know it's really cool to like go hang out with the boys, but learn to stand up for yourself and learn to say, hey, I have to get these things done. They might make fun of you for wanting to stay in. They might make fun of you for, you know, not always being available, but you've got to learn to stand up for yourself and be like, hey, we can kick it later. I just really need to get this done now in order to become better later, if that makes sense, guys. So learn to stand up for yourself. Learn when to say no. Learn when to say yes. You don't need to say yes to every single invitation that's given to you guys um, unless, you know, you really, really want to, right? But chances are there's going to be another party. There's going to be another get together. There's going to be another, you know, night out. So learn to stand up for yourself and, and tell yourself that I need to get this done. So I can't do that right now because I have other things to do. Step five, learn to stand up for yourself. I really do hope you guys get where I'm coming from on these five tips. For me, they have worked great. I've learned to schedule. I've learned to stand up for myself. I've learned to become more disciplined um, with what I decide to do. So like I said, guys, I really, really do hope it, it helps you. I hope you guys take something away from this video. If you're new, subscribe. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And comment down below what you guys want to see next. Other than that, see you guys in the next video.